Well, it is almost crunch time as the houses are finished and the Sunday is the block in New Zealand live auction final and we are joined now by challenge host Shelley Ferguson who is also in a co-hosting role for the brand new three show Slice of Paradise. Welcome Shelley. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Um, I've got a bit on actually. First, I can't believe it's been 12 weeks since you and Mark were here talking about the block. Oh, tell um, me about it. What do you think of the season? How's it gone? Oh, it's been great. It's had everything, especially drama. I think it's had more drama than it's had before. Good. That's yes. what we wanted a tally show. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, going back, and again, I've said that, say this to people when they have, we make them choose something. It's sometimes like choosing a favourite child. <laughs> Don't Has make been me a, do it. I'm going to though. Okay, Has there been a room enough. reveal that you just go, "That is the one for me"? To be honest with you, when we met the contestants, and you know how there's always the the Kiwi blokes, and yep. you sort of you think, well, they probably won't have too much of an idea about design and decor. So when Andy and Nate did the 12-year-old girl or the teenage girl's room that first week and they did that beautiful reverse pink feature wall, mm. I was actually blown away because even the symmetry of the room, the proportion, the colour palette, the furniture choices, I just went, hang on a minute, you know, and here they are going, g'day, you know, yeah. we're Andy and Nate from Hamilton. And so I thought, wow, okay, that, and they got it so instinctively and it didn't take them long. They finished it all well within the time frame. You know, everything was yeah. cleaned up and I thought, okay, they're definitely going to be continuing. Wow. So now you've had a chance, though, not just room to look at the entire finished products. Yes. Anything standing out? Do you have a favourite? Do you think one that's going to go for more? Oh, it's tricky because I'm very, you know, being a mum, I'm very practical. So some people may say, you know, Andy and Nate's and Julia and Ellie's design-wise, they're probably the two strongest ones. Um, but then Ling and Zing think, you know, we've got the views. I like privacy for my family. Mm. So, you know, I would still definitely look at the back house, Stace and mm. Unitas. It's a beautiful home. It's got a great view and it's right at the back, so you're not on the street. Well, that's the thing. That's, a, that's um, what parents are going to look out for. Absolutely. So, depending on your buyer, you know, if it's a family, which they're big homes, they've got a lot of rooms, um, I would be having my parent hat on. Yeah. It'll be very interesting. You can always change paint, can't you? Yeah. 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 I know in previous years it's often been talked about auction order has been perceived as important. Do you still think mm. that is the case? I do. Um, I think it depends on what reserve price is set. That's mm. the clincher, isn't it? But I think there's a certain hype. Um, and I think the auction order is more important depending on the amount of potential buyers you have in the room. If there's a smaller pool, I'd be going up first to make use of that hype. Mm. If there's plenty of buyers, I think you're good all the way through. So. You know, none of us know what's going to happen on the day. It depends on that pool of potential. So buyers. Ling and Zing chose the order, didn't they? Or they get to choose they the order. They get to choose it. We don't find out until Sunday. Who would you put first? I would go first yeah. for yeah. them. Yep, I'd go up first and I would put my least favourite team. Um, you know, they all love each other, but surely there's a least favourite. I'd probably put them last. Mm. Nice. Just because, you know, the market in Auckland is still really strong. It always will be, but it is a little bit softer this year. Um, so I'd be making every chance of that hype. Yeah. yeah. Any ideas what these houses could go for? It's oh, that, I know. I've been and thinking about that. Question, property I, market. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, look, I've been thinking around 1.2, ideally, um, you'd want to be getting for these. Um, I'd be nervous going way too much higher than that, just because they are a different model of housing as well. So mm. they're semi-detached terrace, which is great because it's Auckland. We need um, mm. more high-density housing. They're still really large, but you know, for some people who want a big backyard, um, it's going to limit that. Yeah, they're going to suit some so, people, not others, aren't they? Yeah, really? exactly. Um, the good thing is, though, they're all similar. So you may not get that whole, oh, I'm going to hang out for that house. That's the one I want. Ah, that'll of course, be interesting. yeah, because that, yeah. that does play a part. Do you reckon in the people's choice, or if you were going to call that now, where that might go? I'm going to call it just because we had block party on Sunday and I'm fresh from that and I asked yeah. everybody who came through the door. It was very close. It was sort of Ling and Zing or Andy and Nate. I'm going to call Andy and Nate. Um, but when we went up to Whangarei for the um, charity challenge and there was a school next door, my goodness, the kids with Ling and Zing, the kids were just obsessed with them. Oh, I bet they Andy are. And Nate are the dads, though, so they get, you know, the mm. possibly the older viewers. It'll be interesting to see. Um, Peter Wolfcamp, too, he had his work cut out for him this year with the contestants um, and with the nature of the build as well. Yes. Uh, it's so calm always. Have you ever seen him totally lose it? Oh, he's such a teddy bear. But there was once where he became an angry teddy bear. <laughs> um, and I loved watching it. I mean, I knew we could break Peter at some point. Yes! Um, <laughs> so when they first came on, Ling and Zing, 
they were just, I don't know if you remember that, oh, just chuck some paint up there and, you know, she'll be right. We're just happy to be here. That was yeah. sort of their tagline. They weren't really working hard enough and they've picked the game up massively. They're doing a great job. Right. But their house was just a mess and he was sort of tripping through it and he said, I like my site to be tidy! Yeah. <laughs> um, and he just kind of had a go at them, which was very called for. Oh, he'd be the last person I'd want to disappoint like oh, that. Exactly! <laughs> That's what yeah. they said. It's like our parents being disappointed yeah. in us. So, but you're working with him now on the new show. Yeah, Slice of Paradise. So we oh, have slice of paradise, sorry. 16 kind of sets of property hunters and they're all in different scenarios. So we've got some first home buyers, we've got some empty nesters, we've got some people who want to buy investment property. Uh, as you know, you know, New Zealand a massive nation of property lovers, but it is a bit of a minefield, especially now with prices. People are finding it tougher than before to make a decision and they just need a bit of help around it. So mm. we're just guiding them through the process, showing them different property options okay. and hoping that they buy one of them. Well, let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, absolutely. You've seen us help build the block. And now we have a new challenge, helping ordinary Kiwis buy a home. The booming housing market has met its match. I could definitely see myself here. I feel excited. We travel all around New Zealand to find some amazing properties. And to keep things interesting, Pete and I compete to see who can find that special dream home. Game on, let's get cracking. <laughs> a groundbreaking <laughs> brand new series. Slice of Paradise starts September 20th on 3. Well, that looks interesting, oh, yes. um, and it sort of sound, has a kind of a location, location vibe. But you guys aren't real estate agents, are you? Well, that's exactly right. Yeah, similar format, but we do bring um, different skills to the show, I guess. Certainly not a real estate agent, <laughs> even though I have a massive passion for it. So. Pete can just walk through any house, you know, with his building knowledge and, oh, this is what it would cost, you could do this, mm. this is the condition the cladding's in. Um, and then I found that um, people sort of lacked the vision of, of seeing what they could do to a place. They sort of walked in and went, oh, I don't like it. And so I found I could say, but hang on a minute, you know, you can change anything in a house pretty much if mm. you've got the money, the inclination or the DIY skills. Um, so for me it was all about the interior, the layout, the colour, um, the ways they could add value and really make mm. it their own. What have been the biggest obstacles with that, with finding the, these Yeah, homes? absolutely. I think the first home buyers we had, um, really, really hard place to be, especially Auckland, but even Wellington, you know, those places have moved really quickly. Um, and people are missing out. You know, they've been to auctions because a lot of places were being sold by auctions. They've missed out over and over again. They've spent weekends going to open homes mm. yeah. and they're just a bit deflated. So having them, uh, I guess, in a, in, a, in a space where they're ready to jump, you have to jump really quickly. Yeah, and the thing is with, um, with, with um, people is that we can be, first home buyers can be quite fussy about where they want to live and everything. Yes. Who was the best at finding the houses? Well, you or, you or Pete? Oh, it was pretty even. It was pretty even. I was I was way up there for ages. He had it at the start, and I was feeling very, very smug. Um, and then he he sort of cleaned up towards the end. So very even. Oh, good. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's telling people as well. You know, everyone wants their dream home straight away. Um, I hated my first three houses. I didn't hate them, but three. I could see wow. the potential. Yeah. Yeah. And I bought those houses so that I would be one step closer to my dream home. So it's sort of about taking all of um, that emotion about having to have your dream home straight away. Yeah. You can get there. Um, there's still a lot you can do you to, to add value You just have to for a little bit longer to suck get the one Suck it up, pussy cat. I love it. Hey, thank you so much for that. I actually love You're my welcome. first time, but thank you so much for that. Really looking forward to that. I think it's going to be a success. Good. Now, the Block Live auction final is on this Sunday at 7, and the brand new show, Slice of Paradise, starts on Wednesday night at 7.30, right here on 3.